Hello, hello everybody. This is Dane. Welcome back to my channel, Filipino Nurse with our song. Today is a beautiful day. Actually, after a big rain we had this morning, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon here in Georgia, US of A. All right, anyway, if you have not subscribed yet, could you please do? Still, uh, I'm working on my numbers, it's still very low. Actually, I, as I've said, I'm not gonna worry too much. The most important thing is I have beautiful subscribers, I have very good subscribers, and um, especially those comments and beautiful comments, and you can really help out other people also. It's really giving uh, uh, information to other people also. Now, my topic today is about Balik Bayan Box. This is about the Philippine culture actually. How, where, and when it was originated or founded, okay? So, Filipinos are known to have addiction towards Balik Bayan Box. Tell me if I'm wrong, okay? Because it is correct. Okay, because of the pasalubong type of uh, concept we have in the Philippines, meaning to say we give away a lot of gifts to each other, especially to our immediate families and friends in the Philippines. We always think about other people. That's just the Filipino way of um, loving. Uh, we're just loving people. And uh, do you know that this originated during 1980? by a Filipino also who lived in New Jersey and founded this New Jersey, um, Port Jersey Shipping International. That is the original uh, shipping company for these Balik Bayan boxes. Um, they offered a door-to-door -door, uh, service for all those Balik Bayan boxes. Now Aquino, President Aquino had uh, passed a law that it's gonna be a tax free so you don't pay any taxes on those boxes because they're trying uh, to give recognition to all the OFWs who work very hard away from their country and bring back dollars to help the economy so that's, that's the way of recognizing their effort by the way okay so that's a good thing right because you can put anything in the Balik Bayan box as long as it's not uh, uh, anything that is against the law like firearms something like that or anything like drugs but most of the time those Balik Bayan box are safe goods anyway those are mainly clothes uh, like uh, socks, underwear, like almost sometimes they have tools there. Um, anything that a Filipino would be able to uh, appreciate um, and um, be able to, um, how do you call that, uh, enjoy living comfortably in life, okay? so. We have addiction because the way we do things before, even in, in, uh, within the country, if we go off in another region, we always have to think about people who is left behind. So we pretty much, even if when I was small, my mom and my dad always brings us chocolates, anything candies from the city when they go there, and we always ask for pasalubong. That's, that's the gift from away, from outside um, your area. So um, when I went to Manila first time, I had pasalubong when I went back to um, for my family. And it's always expected sometimes that uh, you have to give them something. And uh, sometimes it can really get a little bit uh, overboard with the gifts, you know, because uh, you don't really give to your immediate family but you also think about your friends around the community and it can really get expensive but it seems like it is like uh, in, in embedded in our heads that we have to give something back to the community in fact when i went back the first time uh i got i had shoes 
I had jewelry and all those clothes for my family. And it is for designated for everybody actually. And some of those um, gifts that I had are for other friends, my family friends. So it can really get expensive. And then the thing about it, sometimes you would, not, you would promise, oh, I'm not gonna do it again because it's so heavy. And, uh, but it tortures you sometimes. In fact, one day when I uh, was uh, falling in line in one of, uh, what is the airport in California, a bunch of Filipinos were dragging and were pushing boxes and boxes of, uh, of um, gifts. And one of the foreigners were asking me, hey, is that a ritual? Because what, are, what do they have on those uh, boxes? And I said, there are gifts for families and friends in the Philippines. Do you really have to do that? And I said, he was a Jewish. You know, he, he was asking me if I, we really have to do that. I said, flatly no. It's because we just have the need to really give and the love and happiness to give. And that's just a Filipino way. It's kind of hard to understand that because in fact, my husband has old clothes sometimes and he wants to just toss it away into the recycling bin. And I told him, no, 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 keep that. He said, well, who's gonna use this? I said, a lot of my workers there or a lot of people, my, my uh, neighbors can use them. Uh, even for clothes for children, I would have to pack them and give it away in the Philippines. But it's just one of those things. I have not really used Balik Bayan back still now because I have a lot of stuff that I need to uh, ship to the Philippines, but it really helps out. But I don't know, but every Filipino that goes abroad, they always think about Balik Bayan box and that's the way how to extend their love to their family. Sometimes you feel like they're deprived, families at home are deprived, so that's why you want to extend the happiness of having something and extend to your families back home. So we are kind of addicted really, but I do not know how to beat this. But it's because of the love that we have, it's overflowing for our families back home. But uh, I'm not doing that lately actually. I have not been really doing that for my family. I, I give cash instead of Balik Bayan box because sometimes in Balik Bayan, um, you can give them some trash, you know, and they're not gonna be able to use them. So might as well give them cash if you really would want to give something. Anyway, that's just something to think about. And good luck and have a safe day. Bye-bye.